Welcome to this VMAX video tutorial. This is Brian. In our last videos, we've installed OpenSIM. We've got it configured properly on port 9000. And we've installed and run Firestorm, and we were able to connect to our OpenSIM server. But as you recall in the last video, all that was there in the OpenSIM server was uh, one little island. And what we want to do now is load our VMAX project into OpenSIM. And we do that using a file called an OAR. .oar. Consider this file like uh, the data file. Uh, just as you might use a word processor, the word processor doesn't contain your document. Your document is in a .doc or some other text file, and now what we need to do is take that and load it into our program, and that's the same way it works with OpenSIM. OpenSIM starts out blank, but in order to use VMAX, uh, we're going to have to load in the VMAX data in the form of an OAR file. And fortunately, that's very easy. First, you're going to have to obtain the OAR file and uh, save that someplace uh, where you'll be able to find it. In my case, I have it on the C drive scratch SL temp, which is uh, in the same folder where I installed the OpenSIM uh, installation. But remember, that's not important. You can store these OAR files anywhere you like, as long as you know where they are. Okay, once you have that located and you know what it's called, I'm going to move this down here so I can see it. Go into OpenSIM, and the command that you type is basically load OAR. And you have to give it the path so that uh, OpenSIM can find it. So in my case, as I mentioned before, it's in C colon scratch SL temp. And we'll give it the file name of vmax. 106.oar. Now the 106 is the version number. Uh, that number may be different for you. In fact, it almost certainly will be by the time you get your hands on a copy of VMAX. Uh, but uh, the current version I'm using is 106. And just hit enter. Now this could take a little bit of time and it's going to start processing. And uh, It'll start telling you line by line the number of assets loaded and the number of assets that failed to load. And you want that number of failures to be zero. It, uh, if you start seeing a lot of failed asset loads, then you, uh, you might be experiencing some problems with your OAR file or configuration or performance or something. Something's going on that's uh, tripping things up. Um, in this particular case, it uh, looks like the assets um, are installing correctly and you wait for a command line uh, to tell you that it's all complete, and then we'll try and log in. While I'm waiting for this to install, I'm just going to launch Firestorm. So that that'll be cooking. Get myself ready here. Now I'm going to pause this video because it's uh, taking a little while to install this. And the reason why is probably the performance is a little slow using the default database. It's using SQLite. And uh, in a future video, we're going to show you how to switch that over to MySQL, which is going to run this whole thing a lot faster. Um, but for now, we're doing the uh, simple installation. So uh, I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back when it's finished loading. Okay, and I've restarted the video. Uh, as you can see, the... Um, OAR file has been loaded. You can also see it took a considerable amount of time. Uh, we started this at 11.08, it's now uh, 11.39, so it uh, took about half an hour for this thing to merge. Uh, one reason, of course, is the VMAX has a lot of assets. This is a data file that has a, a lot of information in it. But the other reason why it went slowly is, uh, I mentioned before, uh, our sort of default out-of-the-box installation for OpenSIM used a back-end database called uh, SQLite. The advantage of SQLite is, of course, it's very lightweight. It was easy. and In fact, you didn't have to do anything to install or, or set it up. And uh, it works right out of the box. The downside is going to be performance. And so uh, in a future video, we're going to be switching that over to MySQL. Uh, but uh, right now, the cost of doing business with a, a very lightweight uh, database engine is uh, this process of merging the .oar file took a very long time. However, we got it done, and so I'll go ahead and enter my password, and we're going to log back into our own grid.
And as you can see, we are no longer in uh, an island. We are actually in the VMAX grid. Okay, in our next video, we're going to uh, work on changing over to MySQL and uh, making some more adjustments to our configuration.